So welcome back. Our last day in Montgomery, Alabama. Right. And uh, we went into a couple of times. We went to uh, Platteville. First time was with our new friends, Rocky and Paula. See over there in that little corner is a coffee shop that looks really cute. I'm hoping they're open. We're walking in downtown Prattsville, Alabama. And actually, one of the nicer little places to go. People are actually walking around and shops are open. Good thing, huh? Cigars. Teddy's Bourbon Bar. Walk-in uh, humidor. Karaoke. Over there. I want to go over there and get the picture and then come back to the shop to get some coffee. Is that okay? Yeah. And we, uh, we walked around town and we uh, stopped by a dam. Learned it was a famous dam. And you looked that up, you know a little bit more about it than I do. So what are we looking at? Uh, well, it's basically a dam. It's controlling the flood. But I'm going to have to look up to see when they built it. And how they actually controlled it. Because there's little... Uh, Yeah, it was a dam that was uh, built during the 1919 flood. It was constructed in uh, 1920. Uh, I have some aerial footage of it. I think you'll uh, you'll enjoy watching. And it's just you'll see in that video there was a walkway, and oh, it would have been so much fun to go through over that. Yeah. So after that, we then went into this really cute, eclectic, I would call it, uh, coffee shop. Yes, and got the most awesome almond latte. I've been craving some good coffee. It's great. Yeah, and I had a cappuccino kind of late in the afternoon. <laughs> and he was up all night. And uh, yeah, not good for I me. I warned him. I said, are you sure? Because uh, Paula had taken a shot of this and I love this. Hello. Hello. It is pretty. I love it. This is like a lot of the coffee shops were in uh, California when I would go. Guess what they have? Water. They have ice cream. Hi. How are you? Oh, there's a window right there. Uh, we found a, uh, a barbecue place. Why not have some barbecue? <laughs> yeah, Fat boys. Another place, another barbecue place. Yeah, it was uh, it was good. Uh, uh, I had the the full. What do they call it? Uh, the, the, everything. I mean, it pretty much went into detail in the video. But the other part of it was the uh, camp stew. And I'll tell you, oh my God, I was just in seventh heaven. I took the first bite of that, and I just wanted more and more. Wish I had gotten some to go. That fat boy favorite is yeah. an example of all six of our meats and three sides. All right, that's what we're going to do. All right, and what three sides are you going to have, huh? Uh, three sides. On the bottom. I want to have. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I didn't get that much. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks, that looks like a mess of food. Yeah, we are out of Italian dressing. 
So what? Uh, I should only have. Um, ranch, ranch. Oh, wait, you're right back. And that is one. This is camp stew, cowboy stew, or camp stew. Looks like something you would eat on the trail. So that was the end, and then we got on the coach and we started heading north to go to see. Uh, John and Mercedes, uh, the RV Odd couple, who have the uh, video blog RV Odd Squad. I'll, I'll put a link down below. Better uh, in person, beautiful people. Uh, really nice people with their daughter Sage. Mm -hmm. And they're in um, Alabama, in Eider, Eider, Alabama. And they found a uh, an abandoned campground, been closed about nine years, 220 something acres. And uh, they're uh, now doing their dual diligence to maybe buy it and turn it into the RV Odd. Uh, squad odd couple uh, campground. It was and really interesting. I'm hoping to get back there to do some plain air painting. I took some shots, but there's nothing like being there in person. Just gorgeous. As we pulled in it was kind of wet and rainy and uh, they showed us where to go because it's been abandoned but they had a couple of sites and they they were nice enough to put in a 50 amp uh, electric service for us and that was the site we were going to go to and we got directed into it and we got stuck in the mud well houston we have a problem we are at a campground and we got mud we got mud. And we're slipping and sliding and can't get out. Yeah, it was like, move a little further over to make the electrical work. And each time, it was like further over, further over, and muddy, buddy. And then all of a sudden, the next thing I noticed is the whole back end of the coach was like fishtailing. So I have a little part of the video of that uh, mud thing uh, uh, in this video. But if you want to see the whole Thing. The whole fiasco. And the uh, chief engineer here directing uh, how we get this thing out of the mud. Uh, I'm going to put a link down below uh, to see the uh, stuck in the mud video. And just try to dig down in the, 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 uh, the mud. At least when they pull out, pull you out, it's got a little traction. <laughs> just something. <laughs> uh, so what happens when you marry an engineer? Uh, Thankfully, John uh, of the... Um, I keep forgetting their tagline. Are we out good? Yeah. Uh, thankfully, John came to the rescue with this awesome uh, bungee pole and uh, two Hemi trucks and stuffing that we met. And uh, thank you. Thank you for saving us. Anyway, we, uh, we then, uh, the next day, we took a tour of the property and the waterfalls, and uh, Virginia was kind of saying, uh, oh, I want to stay here a few more days and do some painting. Yeah, I, I want to go back. I told John, I said, I may be flying back just to do some painting. Is that okay? He said, absolutely. <laughs> Virginia. You want to sit in the middle, Sadie? And Mommy wants to go in. Yeah, jump in there with, yep, you sit between Sadie's and Virginia. Okay. 
Okay. This goes back to my youth on Sunday when we used to go for a Sunday afternoon drive. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Everybody smile. Yeah. That's a little slow. Yeah. Yeah. A little slippery. Bitches don't you? Wow. It's beautiful as this. But you could take your journey back and find that peace yeah. and feeling like you're out in the world. Right behind our campsite, it's mm -hmm. only a two minute walk down to one of the most gorgeous places on the whole site. Yeah. Yeah, we call it Twin Falls and it's just gorgeous, just beautiful. Yeah. You can actually hear it from the back when we're sitting out. Really? Yeah, at our RV. Yeah. yeah. You can hear it. Oh, that was a shot. Climb up. <laughs> That moth is so cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. May I have my phone back, Richard? Mm -hmm. Thank you. These incredible um, dragons. Oh, wow. So we were just down there. And this I is would... just the higher end of it. Oh my god. And I... years ago, there were paths that ran all along this river. They just need to be cleared again. Just a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just... Say hi, Richard. Hi. No. There's so many different kinds. Yep. The weather is water. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, and look beautiful. at that rock bed. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It's a little waterfall. Oh. Yeah. You need to take some pictures for your next painting? You bet. <laughs> and I want to paint yeah. that, and I want well, to paint that. The other thing, too, is I'm taking Look it. I love it. This whole bottom is all sandy and smoky. Oh. No, you're going to go just jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that evening, uh, we got some some really good uh, ribeye steaks. Uh, put them on the um, uh, the grill and uh, cooked up a meal. And Virginia and I uh, uh, cooked and served the meal for them, and uh, that was great. And we bought some awesome peach cobbler for everyone to share from the Peach Park. The Peach Park. Yeah, it was good. So anyway, tomorrow morning, it's uh, off to Nashville, Tennessee. You bet. And we're going to go Looking to Music to City, and we're going to see some old friends. And uh, quick stop. Maybe some new friends that may surprise you, who may show up in Nashville. <laughs> so, stay tuned. We'll see you on the road. Bye bye. Are we done? We're done. Okay.